All right, Doc Positive here, leader of the pack at the Paws Veterinary Clinic. And we are here with Tank. Now, Tank, uh, Mom and Dad just picked Tank up the other day there, and they got him home. And we can see Tank already has an issue that's pretty common in English Bulldogs. It's pretty common in dogs that are called brachycephalic. And brachycephalic means short, smashed face. Pugs, English Bulldogs, Boston Terriers. And what this is, is it's commonly called a cherry eye. If you want to, yeah, if you look at this eye versus this eye. And that is the gland of the third eyelid, or the nick membrane. Dogs have an upper eyelid, a lower eyelid, and they have a third eyelid, like a windshield wiper, uh, called the nictitating membrane. And in behind that nictitating membrane, there's a gland. And these dogs with the very short faces, everything's pushed in instead of like a shepherd or a lab, and there's not a lot of room. And so that gland tends to pop out. Uh, when that does, it gets very red and irritated from being exposed to the air, and it looks bright red, so they call it a cherry eye. Now, this condition, um, that gland, there's a couple of different ways to uh, repair it. There's a right way, and there's a wrong way. The wrong way is that gland can be cut right off. Don't ever let a veterinarian do that to your dog because that gland helps to produce tears and if that gland is cut off that will predispose your dog over the course of the life to not producing adequate tears to lubricate that eye and so that gland should be tucked back in place the gland is held in place by a little ligament that keeps it down in there and when this gland has been out for any length of time, that ligament stretches out. So I can tuck that back in place right now, but with that stretched ligament, it's probably going to pop back out. So with mom and dad here, since they just bought this puppy from a very reputable uh, source, I said I'm going to refer you to an ophthalmologist. Yes, there are veterinary ophthalmologists, dermatologists, cardiologists, None in this particular area, about a half hour away in Allentown. But somebody who has more experience at tucking that gland back in place and then suturing it in place so we have adequate tear production. So we're going to refer him to Allentown to see a veterinary ophthalmologist. The pet store will uh, likely uh, wind up covering the expense of that in a young dog like this. The problem with tucking it back in place is uh, they are prone, 50% of them will pop back out, and a lot of these dogs, it will occur in the other eye as well. So Tank here, he has eversion of the third eyelid, commonly called a cherry eye. Uh, one of my own dogs that I adopted through rescue, uh, had a cherry eye that uh, the shelter wanted removed. I cut it off, told him didn't recommend it. That was before I adopted that dog. I would not cut it off if it were my own dogs. But I adopted her. She had grown on me. That was Blanche Dubois. And her other eye everted, and she lived the rest of her days with uh, one that was removed by me, and the other one remained a cherry eye uh, because I know uh, they pop back out. But with these folks, new puppy, they just picked them up a couple of days ago. I wouldn't want to look at that in my own dog if I had a puppy. So we're going to go the surgery route with a veterinary ophthalmologist. So that's Doc Positive, a little bit of information with Tank. I didn't tell him. My niece just got an English Bulldog. You know what his name is. Tank. So we got the two tankers. All right. Bye now.